guys, it's Dana, and today we're going to make a white chocolate peanut butter with chocolate bark. Yep, it's really easy, really fast, holiday perfect. You're going to love how easy these ingredients are to find and how fast you can make this. And everybody will think that you took a long time because it tastes that good. So here we go for anybody who loves peanut butter. All right, we have 12 ounces of both white almond bark and chocolate almond bark inside of microwavable safe bowls. We are also going to cover a rimmed baking tray with parchment paper. You do not need nonstick spray. From there, we will begin to melt the chocolate. This is still lumpy, so it needs to go back in, but make sure to use a rubber scraper and scrape down the sides of the bowl. Everything needs to be reheated again, not just the chunks. This way nothing dries out. So I'll do that, put it back in the microwave, and when it comes back out, perfection. We're going to make sure this is nice and smooth, and then we'll spread it into the pan. Then place on your candy-coated pieces, push those little suckers in because they will want to pop out, as you'll see later when we are breaking the bark. All right, now we're going to move on to the white chocolate but I'm not adding the peanut butter into the white chocolate. I'm going to warm the white chocolate pieces up first. When it comes out and I smooth the white chocolate, then I'm going to add in the peanut butter. The heat of the chocolate will allow the peanut butter to easily transition without becoming runny and without leaving an oil residue. And that is what we are going for. You can see it mixes very easily and then Pour it, and if you want to go ahead, and if the other chocolate has not already set up, you can make a swirling effect down the middle to combine the two. You can see that the white chocolate has turned to a milky colored white, and I'm just spreading it easily, as you can see. And then I'm going to add the pretzel pieces and the Reese's peanut butter pieces. Remember I said, this is insanely peanut butter delicious. Here you go. Let this set up. Once it's done in about 30 minutes in the refrigerator or about an hour on the counter, go ahead and break it. Use your hands, make sure you wash your hands ahead of time. We always talk about this in every one of my videos. Break it up, use a knife, however you wanna do it. Airtight container, refrigerate it if it's for more than five days and enjoy it. Gift it, box it up, put it in Ziploc bags before you send it out as gifts. I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and stay tuned for more simple recipes for the holidays.